you know, I just I feel bad for the members on the DFL side of the aisle who come from vulnerable districts who are going to have to walk the plank on tax increases that aren't going to happen anyway. And, it, and I told this story before, but since we have so many members, I'll just uh, freshen your memory up. It reminds me of the Star Trek episodes where they had problems on the planet. The monster was eating people and, and destroying things and so forth. And Kirk and Scotty and so forth said, we've got to go down and check out the situation on the, on the surface of the planet. They didn't go themselves. They beamed down Lieutenant Smith, who nobody heard of before. Guess who got blown away or eaten by the monster? It wasn't the main character. It was Lieutenant Smith who got eaten by the monster. And so for those first-term Democrats who are going to report to the transporter room and vote for the tax increases, I can tell you that Captain Kelleher and First Mate Surditch don't have to worry about their seats. And you might have to risk the wrath of Khan by voting against this bill. <laughs> but I can tell you, you need to think long term. Start playing, if you're going to do game playing, start playing chess and not checkers. Some of us want to get out of here in May and do the people's business and have a balanced budget. This is the one thing that I think is a tool in the toolbox to get done. We don't love it. It's not an easy decision, but I'd recommend that you vote for this amendment. Further discussion to the amendment, the representative from Nicollet, Representative Morrow. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, I do hope at the end of the day we come up with a plan where all Minnesotans can live long and prosper. Sen Representative Seifert, these are